Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a really cool card. It may be a masculine card, it may not be. Using our new motorcycle stamp set that came out in the new Stampin' Up! catalog. And even if you're not a rider or don't know somebody who is, and I am, this is still a really cool stamp set. Absolutely love it. And I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. I'm gonna show you some heat embossing, and we're gonna play with the swirly scribble dies, which are awesome. All right, let's get started making this cool chrome-tastic card. Here is our awesome Motorcycle Harley card from the One Wild Ride stamp set from Stampin' Up. Just love this. So it, the, the card is just chrome-tastic. <laughs> it is just awesome with the silver foil. Love, love, love the whole look. Love this stamp set. Here is the stamp set, One Wild Ride. And you can purchase the stamp set and all the supplies I'm about to use today on my stampwithtammy.com blog simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. If you're on YouTube, you can click right on this video. And I also have a free PDF file for you there on this card. Enjoy. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start with some stamping. I've got some archival basic black here and I am going to stamp the Harley. I'm going to stamp the motorcycle in the top center of our white panel. I'm going to stamp it a second time on a piece of scrap paper. We're going to trim out the Harley that is on the scrap paper. I went fairly close to the image in, in trimming and um, these little shadows in the bottom, I didn't bother trimming those. I just cut them right off because we'll use the image below for that. You just need the motorcycle por portion of this image. And there she is, all, all trimmed out. We're just going to put that aside for now. And then we're going to start some heat embossing. I'm using a Versamark watermarking ink pad for heat embossing. If you've stamped with me in the past, you know this is one of my favorite things. Love it. So I'm inking the Life's a Journey badge stamp on some silver foil cardstock and this is Stampin' Up! puts this cardstock out. It is fabulous. I've got a little bit of scrap paper underneath my motorcycle image. I'm taking the splatter that also comes in the same stamp set and I'm stamping it around the edge, kind of randomly off the edge of the card, of the image. I'm going to take some silver embossing powder and just pour it right over the silver foil. Give the back a really good hearty flick to get off any excess. And this is what it will look like. It is not cooked yet. <laughs> now we're going to take our image panel and do the same thing and just make sure you get it all the way around the edges because there's a lot of surface there. And if you need to pick some up and go, if you pour the whole jar out, totally fine because it's all going right back in the jar when we're done. Similar to this. And then we'll just pour the excess embossing powder right back into the jar. Okay, next I've got my heat emboss tool and we are going to heat up these images and melt that powder. There it goes. Isn't that awesome? So cool. The silver on silver just looks like chrome, doesn't it? So awesome. Just like a badge. Very cool. So we're going to do the same with our image. We're going to melt all the powder along the edge. that's done it looks like this so very cool right and wait we're not done it gets even better than this so I've got another sheet of silver foil and this is the swirly scribbles die set from Stampin Up we're gonna take this so I just thought it just fit this card perfectly okay I've got a magnetic platform one cutting pad silver foil 
and the magnet is going to suck this piece right down on top of it one cutting pad on top and crank it through and the result is awesome so cool right wait for it just peel that right out oh love love it's like metal like chrome chrome tastic you could use the adhesive of your choice here to place this on the card you can use glue dots you can use the fine tip glue pen liquid glue my adhesive of choice is snail and you're gonna go oh my god you can see snail lines through there and you're right you can so here's what you want to do if you use snail to put this down make sure you poke out any snail lines that are showing before you put it down it's that simple i know i'm too lazy to pull out another adhesive <laughs> and boom stick that right down love love and then we're just gonna trim off the edges that overhang gonna take a couple stamp and dimensionals and put them on the back of the motorcycle put that down and i'm layering that right over the original and that's gonna pow pop right up but we have our shadow marks from our original see how they show underneath and it just pops right off the page. It is awesome. And we've got our badge punch from Stampin' Up! And, and this set was made to fit in the badge punch, so it coordinates perfectly. So just gonna line that inside the punch and punch it out, and now we have our badge. Isn't that awesome? It almost looks real, doesn't it? You could use this, you could use this silver embossing on silver foil for kids, so cute. So we're gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals in the background. And that's gonna layer right here on the bottom. Yeah, you know, then we're just gonna use some snail adhesive to attach our card panel pieces together. And our card is complete and it's completely awesome, isn't it? So very fun, life's a journey, enjoy the ride. I hope you've enjoyed this. Be sure to visit my stampwithtammy.com blog for that free PDF and for hundreds more video tutorials. And don't forget to sign up for my newsletter while you're there because I send out free card tutorials every Tuesday exclusive to subscribers. Thanks for joining me today.